हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल डेफ टाउन सो एज इन द गाइज प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द ऑपरेश एक्सेल सो नाउ गाइज इन दिस टूडेज वीडियो आई विल टेल यू सम ऑफ द बेसिक फॉर्मूला विच आर यूज इन द एक्सेल एंड विच आर वेरी यूजफुल फॉर योर डे टू डे डाटा ऑपरेश ओके एंड ट्रस्ट मी गाइज दैट दिस थिंग विल हेल्प यू द मोस्ट इन द फ्यूचर वेन यू वुड बी लाइक मूविंग towards the your data science journey to become the good data scientist okay so these basic things matters so now let's uh, just simply start with the our first part which is guys addition okay so how we do addition in the excel let me create a table here 45 okay let me add some random number here okay perfect okay so guys we will just simply start with the equal to okay so, and there is one option let me see okay no issue with a second where is that auto sum option okay let me see here okay so guys here you can see that there is a option named the auto sum okay so now if i press enter see guys now i am getting the total of these all here and you can do it by yourself in the calculator to verify it okay and the second method to get the sum okay let me show you so i can do like let me show you okay so i can also do individually then after plus after plus plus okay now if i press enter see guys now i am getting the same value as i was getting before okay so guys this is how you will perform the addition in the excel okay and now our second part is the subtraction A second. Okay, guys. So now we will learn about the subtraction. Okay, so okay, no issue. Let me tell you one more type to add the data. Okay, before it. So as you will type the S, so you will get the option sum. Okay, select it. It is showing number one. so you have to wait a second why it is not working no you have to select all here the second it will work like this perfect so now if i press enter see guys now our this value is added and it is showing us the result and for the subtraction guys suppose we have a value 100 here okay and we have a value 50 here and now if i want to get this like subtraction of these value in the next cell so how i'm going to do that so just start with the equal to okay and this minus this just press the enter see guys now i'm getting the answer 50 Okay, I hope guys that you, everything is very much clear. Now we will talk about the multiply. So how we will do multiply? Okay, so suppose we have a two digit here, twenty and thirty. So now if I want to multiply it, so the thing is very simple. I have to just simply start with the equal to twenty. The star which refers to multiply here, this thirty, and if I press enter, see guys, I am getting six hundred, which is the multiply of twenty and the thirty. Okay, and the next is division. Okay, so suppose we have a twenty here, and we have two here, and if I want to divide twenty by the two, how I will do that? Okay. Okay, so actually it is very simple. This twenty divided by two, 
now if i press enter see guys now i am getting the answer 10 which is the division answer of this okay guys if you are having any issue or like you are not getting the thing with what i am trying to explain you can definitely tell me in the chat box i will reply you for the sure okay so now the next thing is percentage okay so for the percentage let me copy these all cell okay perfect so guys as i know that uh, uh, the total of this is 9400 okay as i know that the total is this so we will use it 9400 okay it will be divided by uh, the 500 okay these are five so why we are dividing by 500 i know that you like have the knowledge of the basic math so we have to divide it by the 100 so that's why we are using the 500 here so now if i press enter see guys now i'm getting the percentage okay so now let me show you one more thing so you have to change this thing general for the percentage here okay so now it is giving us the correct answer in the percentage okay and guys you have to take care of these small small things because these small things will give you a definitely a error okay whenever you perform this thing in your excel now guys let me tell you about the average okay so now we will learn about the average how to find the average values so let me enter some data Okay, let me some more data okay so guys to find the average the thing is very simple it is the most easiest thing in the excel to find the average okay and average is like most used thing most easiest plus most used feature of the excel is the average okay so you just have to simply type the equal to after it you have to write the average okay you can see it is showing us the option average wait a second we have done a mistake here average and it is asking us the number so let me select it and as soon as i press the enter key see guys now i'm getting the average of these values okay i hope that this thing is very much clear addition subtraction multiply division percentage average okay and after it we have a thing called the maximum maximum okay so we will find the maximum for this okay let me add some the data okay so how we can find the maximum let me tell you so the task is very simple you just have to start with the equal to and type the maximum you can see it is showing up the option maximum okay and now let us give it a value now if i press the enter see guys this is the maximum number in this and we can like justify and easily recognize it okay and we are getting this as the answer so the things are going perfectly okay and now we will learn about how to find the minimum so let me add some data here okay i have added one so let us see what will be showing the answer so the thing is very simple just start with equal to and you have to find the minimum here and you have to give it uh, data now as soon as i press the enter key see guys i am getting the one because it is the minimum okay and i have told you guys how you can see the your formula in the excel control plus the key which is 
in the left hand side of your one okay one two three as you can see on the uh, key, keyboard so the key on the left of the one is used okay you can see all the formula from here okay guys i hope guys that these basic formulas are clear to you okay and still if you have any doubt you can ask me okay guys i will come back when then another amazing video of the excel